this one is so conviction I'm not playing this. I played this on 360 and I always wanted to play this game. Wait, what? Alright, so we're gonna be playing this game. I loved this game when I was I played on the 360, so hope you guys enjoy this game that I'm about to play. Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. I always do. The thing you have to understand is this. The Sam Fisher you knew is dead. America killed him, asked him to... Make one sacrifice too many, cross one line too far. A drunk driver killed him, some anonymous asshole who ran down his daughter and vanished. She was the one thing in his life that humanized him. And his agency killed him. It set him up turned him loose and told him to pull the trigger on his best friend in a dirty New York City basement. Irving Lambert died by Sam's hand that day. And so did Sam. So he left. Left her at Echelon, left the life he knew, left America and mom and apple pie, left it all behind. He hopped off the grid and went walkabout, looking for a reason to go on living. Eventually, he found it. He caught a whisper in the wind that maybe his daughter's death hadn't been an accident. He heard a name, and he found somewhere to go looking. A city called Valletta. It's in Malta. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Phone call for you. Please accept these compliments of your father. Sam. Who is this? How'd you find me? Give me a little credit, Sam. Don't tell me you don't recognize my voice even after all this time. Grim, what do you want? To save your life. We can go from there. A team of armed men just entered the marketplace looking for you. They're closing in on your position. Unless you do exactly what I say, this will be a very short conversation. I'm not doing a damn thing until you tell me how you found me. We're third echelon. We've got an eye on everyone. Look up. You'll see it. I see it. Then I can take it back up to safe altitude, and you can get moving. You still haven't told me how you found me. Move. You've got multiple hostiles inbound on your position, and from where you're at, you're a sitting duck. Now get to that group of stalls in the market. There's a lot of cover for you there. Just like the old days, huh, Grim? Just like the old days, Sam. Are you carrying? Yeah, but I'd rather not risk a firefight when there are civilians around. That's very noble of you. But right now, what matters to me is getting you out of there in one piece. So get to that group of booths right now, or I can't help you, Sam. Transformers near you and blow out those lights. What are you guys on, huh? You think of that? Alright. What is... 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 Come on, sweetie. There's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. Sometimes darkness is a good thing. Like when you want to go to sleep. I could go to sleep with the light on. When it's light, you can't see into a place that's dark. 
But when it's dark, you can see what's around you much better. Really? Really. So if there's monsters or bad people around, you can see them. But if you're in the dark, they can't see you. I can't see you either. Can you please turn the light back on? Okay. Then how about this? There's one really cool thing I didn't show you yet. There is? Show me. Okay, here it is. When you're in the dark and your eyes get used to it, you can see all sorts of things around you really well. And then you can do stuff with them. Like what? Now take a look at your mobile. You can see it really well, right? If there were monsters standing underneath it, because I can see it, maybe I could make it fall on them and they'd go away. And it would fall on their heads and they wouldn't be bad anymore? That's my girl. Teddy, what was that? <sighs> Daddy needs you to stay in bed now, okay? He's gonna shut the door and I'll be back real soon, all right? Okay, Daddy, I love you. Stay in bed. There you go, Sam. Nice and dark, just the way you like it. That wasn't bad, motherfucker. I'll come and sign your work. Come on, show yourself, fuck! Get down. Oh shit, I don't know how I missed that. Shit! Come on! What do you got, man? You got anything good? This place is shit. Yeah, you picked it, asshole. You said we'd get a couple of thou -ese. I heard there was metals and shit we could fence in here. The lady that lives here is hot. Maybe we could wait for her to come home. Take it out and trade. Now shit. you're talking. Oh, shit. Baby, don't look. Sam? What Sam. are you doing, Daddy? What, what are, you are you doing? Sam, talk to me. Sam? Sam, are you there? Come on, don't check out on me. Oh, there you are. They brought in some reinforcements, and the man calling the shots is with them. Get a hold of him. I'll ID him, and you can figure out what questions to ask. Who's paying the Open. Working for this guy. Now, this is super easy. I've got an so ID far. on the leader, Sam. His name is Dimitri Gramko, a local street level boss. He hires himself and his gang out on a regular basis. Who's he working for Who's now? Even? Why don't you ask him? I think I will. Shh. Uh, this guy's gonna put this way. Special guy smart. Probably ran out the back end of the market. Love to see what our thumbs up our asses. Hey. Not happy. Back's all blocked off. He's gotta come through here. Hopefully before we die of old age. The hell is he hiding? Cover me! Oh, oh. Got him down! We're staying oh, here, Mister! Hold us still now! Leave the target, you assholes! Yeah, what? Stop moving. Take him down! Hey. Take him down! I'm out of here. I live. I just gotta get him. Follow him. Stay back, you me! Looking for me, asshole. No more playing around. Who sent you? Fuck you! Huh? Time for some interrogation. Oh, shit, hang on. There you go. Okay, enough. You want to know who sent me? It's Colbin. Andre Colbin. <coughs> Runs drugs, guns. Anything people want, he gets it for them. Not good enough. Why does Colbin want me dead? <laughs> Don't. Please. Stop. No. Oh, there's nothing man. I swear. Alright. Sweet. He drove the car that hit your daughter. Used to brag about it, you know? Huh? 
heard you were coming, so he hired me to, to kill you before you killed him. You should refund his money. Where do I find him? I can't tell you. I can't. What are you gonna tell me? In the city, the old museum on King George Street. It's his place now. Guards out front and on the sides. Don't tell him I told you. Oh, I'm not gonna tell him a damn thing. Don't tell him I told you. But I knew all along that's where Sam would be going. Anything dirty in Malta ran through that mansion. Coben's whole operation was based there, and he turned the place into a fortress. Which, to be fair, it pretty much was to start with. And that was before he filled the place with jumpy guys toting automatic weapons. But Sam knew. Coben was in there, and then he might know something about what happened to his daughter. So, Sam was going in, no matter what. Try being more careful. Shut up. Well, that probably hurt. I'm gonna have to kill this guy. It's really bad. But there's two body bags, they all the got you smoked. Just nothing. But the ship will be got to die. There's two stiffs in the hall. Okay, I'm glad you're fine. Come on. Can't say I blame him though. What, because of the shipment? That's bullshit. We've handled like 50 dollars. You missed the hit on Fisher at the market. I guess it's up to us now, man. Man, did you see that list of meds? Whoa, man! Secret agents? Shit, now I have Alright, all three of them are dead. We'll get... Oh, okay, Sash. I'll get my original setup. Uh, the 5.7 is one of the best pistols because it you can get four execute mark things. You get four of them. 
actually useful to have. Got that loaded? I'll go check it out. Son of a bitch is gonna come through that door and we're gonna blast him when he does! Boss, what if he comes through the window? Then you shoot him! What fucking stupid question is that? You get this straight. Nobody is going anywhere until Fisher is dead. Until he shows up, all you gotta do is shut up and get ready to shoot. Are we clear? Yeah, boss. Get off easy, boss. Bye bye. I'm ready. Are you idiots ready? I'm ready. I'm ready right now! <laughs> Check it out. See what's going on behind that door. All team, conduct on area sweep Boss, and report in. I don't see anything. Let's 
guys, you guys, over there! Fisher, you want nothing, Fisher! Nothing! Huh. It's all one. Okay, Jasper. Andre Coben. Are you saying something about my daughter? Oh, God, no. Yeah, I was just messing with you, man. I didn't mean it. I swear I didn't mean it. Then make it up to me. Tell me why you killed her. I can't tell you. All you can do is kill me. It was just a job. They just gave me a picture and told me to provide a body. That's all it was, a dump job. They isn't good enough. Who were you working for? I can't tell you. I'm still working for them. They'll gut me if I tell you. Okay. You're done. Oh! They're not the ones you should be worried about right now. Not escaping. You don't kill it, Fisher! They're bigger than you! They're bigger than me! Don't you see? They told me you were coming! Drop it, Fisher! Drop it down if you won't be hurt! Sam, we need to go with them. The hell I do. Please, you have to trust me on this one. If you're talking to the Ice Queen, Fisher, I'd advise you to listen. She knows all sorts of things you'd be interested in. What took you so fucking long? Don't move! Hands in That's the air! Fisher, no nice movement. and easy! Man, this is Ghost Hawk 1. We've secured Panther and are ready to return to base. All right, Grim. You get this one. But if it's a setup... Son of a... I'll be happy when we drop off sneaking you here. So will Reed. I saw his people out by his chopper ready to go. He's probably impatient. Look, Colonel Prentice, I got us here as fast as I could. Yes, you did, Oscar. Tom Reed's just not a patient man. Uh, Colonel, I don't mean to be pushy on this one, but I do need to talk to you about my pay. I was told Coburn was handling that. Well, yes, sir, but since there were these changes, you see, extra passengers with extra gear and a longer flight plan. Tell you what, Oscar, take it up with Colonel Reed. He'll take care of you. It was clear someone wanted to talk to Sam. That's why they went to all the trouble of setting him up with Coburn's. That's why they tranked him and flew him back home. They needed him docile when they offloaded him at their private airstrip up in the Blue Ridge, because if they hadn't, he would have taken that place upon with his bare hands. He's awake. Fuel isn't free, man. Colonel Prentice. Major Robertson, we don't have time to chat. Our timetable says your men need to move. Everything's operational, Director Reed. We start deployment at 900 hours this morning. Good, keep things going on your end. I'm heading back to 3rd Echelon to prep things there. Oh, our people would be just fine. Never had any doubts. Now, gentlemen, if you'll excuse us, I need a minute with Miss Grimm's daughter here. There's a loose end that needs tying off. Of course, Major. Right. Fisher's all yours, Anna. You packaged him for us in Malta, you get to unwrap him here. Find out what he knows about the EMPs, how he knows it, and why he's been hunting our friend Mr. Coben. Might take a while, Tom. He's been trained to resist interrogation. I'm authorizing you to use whatever persuaders you need, chemical or otherwise. Get the answers, and dispose of them. Just don't be as messy this time. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Anything else? Just, Just get, get to it. it. And call me when you have something. I'll be at HQ.
listen to me. I'm working for President Caldwell as a mole inside third echelon. Reed's the new director, and he's working hand in hand with our hosts here. A PMC called Black Arrow. They're running a pipeline for stolen Russian EMP tech through Malta. And Reed's stonewalling any kind of investigation into it. Reed's stonewalling the president. He's got serious political coverage from somewhere. And the president isn't getting anywhere through channels. We know they're in the final stages of prep for something very ugly. But what we don't know is what it is or where it's going down. Really? Then again, you seem more interested in field work these days. Stop it. I need you to do this. The second I make a move, my cover is blown. But you're on the outside now. You are free to act. I don't do this sort of thing anymore. Tell that to the men you killed in Malta. Now, if you don't make it look like you escaped and attacked me, I'm dead. So make it look good, Sam. Hit me. Do what you have to do. Grim, let me remind you, I'm out of the game. You're not out. All it took was one hint about her. Only one hint about Sarah and you dove right back in. What do you know about her? I know she's alive. How's that for starters? You're lying. She's dead. Lambert told me she was dead, and I take his word over yours. She's alive, Sam, and I know where she is. I've known all along. You're lying. Why should I believe you? Because my people have her. If you help me, you get to see her again. If you don't, it's out of my hands. Oh, I'm gonna do it. Do not lie to me about this. Or I'll kill you. You understand me? I will kill you. Sam, I've been lying to you about this for years. Damn. Okay. I oh, damn. Okay, that'll do. Good work. Shut up. Here. My car is just outside their security gate. It's a red T208. I disabled the GPS locator chip so Third Echelon's birds can't find it. And take this snake cam. It's linked with this phone. The signal's encrypted. In case you get lonely. So I can set up a call with Sarah to prove to you that she's alive and unharmed. Now we need to get you out of here without them coming after you. C4 should help with that. There's some right outside. Get it and call me back. I don't get the gun. Just point it at the right people. See you guys in the next fight when I make it. Peace.